Derbyshire Healthcare, we can help in lots of ways. Through recovery and wellbeing activities that help people regain confidence. Through recovery education, where people can think about what recovery really means to them. Also through community building, so people always have someone to turn to and activities and groups to get involved in. And also through practical preparation, so people can return back to day-to-day -day life. We also ask people who are further along in their recovery journey to come back and offer insight, help, support and advice and therefore hope, knowing that it helps them on their recovery journey too. Before I started this I was very depressed, very low, didn't go out, staying indoors all the time, didn't want to socialise or nothing. And then Louise mentioned about this and I thought, you know, I'll give it a go. It offers something different from talking therapies and from medication. It's not essentially learning to look after horses. Um, it really is about using the horse's capacity to mirror human behaviour, to learn about themselves. You feel like you've gone on a journey and it's been a nice journey, not an horrible one. I don't think I would be here now if it weren't for them. My journey started um, uh, nearly 14 years ago where I, I had a lot of uh, traumas in my life that happened all at once uh, in the year 2000. Uh, I became mentally unwell. But as, as part of my, my journey, you know, what's been the most empowering thing for me is the people who actually um, supported me in my recovery. And they are now my, my colleagues. We're not there to teach them as such. We're only there to give them things to think about, you know, maybe give them new hope, you know, give them something new to think about, giving them, giving them choices, you know, because at the end of the day, the, the whole point of the sessions, it's all based around recovery, and it's all about us helping them to help themselves. I was an heroin addict for 15 years. I've been in recovery for four years, it's September. Um, I'm now the centre coordinator of Oak Springs Recovery Centre. People can identify with me as a peer because I've been there, I've done it. I have an understanding of it, from the feelings to the thoughts, to the things that you have to do, you know in addiction. Without this place actually being here, I don't know if I'd have been able to achieve what I've achieved. It's given me a better understanding of recovery my confidence has basically gone through the roof. My self-esteem, you know, everything about volunteering has made me a lot better, a better person. Through the health visitors, um, I got told about peer support, breastfeeding. I was breastfeeding Bradley for between three to six months and then he wanted to stop and they wanted me to help other people on how I got past that and how I got through my um, earlier times where um, I felt down about not being able to latch on properly in early days and helping people with their confidence in nursing in public and I'm planning on doing that um, in September and I'm planning on breastfeeding with my new baby. Grade our activity will make it person specific to allow people to maintain their level of function to the best of their ability. So the activity that he's doing has an element of reminiscence in, in it. It's polishing shoes, which we all remember doing from childhood. It's a, a job done in the here and now. So there's an end product with that job. So a good clean pair of shoes is something that gives one sense of pride. The thing to remember in good dementia care that that individual is part of us all and still remains exactly the same person with cognitive difficulty. Pharmacists are involved in medication review and making sure that the patients get the best from their medicine. Part of promoting um, patient recovery, um, we ensure that they have access about their 
medications and they understand why they're taking them and they have more information about their condition. And we also actively promote patients self-administering and medicate themselves um, in preparation for when they enter the community and they will be getting their medicines from the chemist a month at a time. The progress I've been making so far has been uh, quite substantial. And the pharmacy team are quite, uh, quite important, almost vital in um, informing patients of the medicine that they, that they think is going to be prescribed. In the future, I expect to take the medication as, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, really, because um, I know that in hospital it's kept well. I was at a unit at the Kingsway site in Derby, uh, and I was there for about three years. Um, I made a lot of the progress there with my recovery and uh, rehabilitation. I've been coming out with Andy the first time was about three months ago. Um, he told me about this programme that he was setting up, the sort of angling programme and getting people to come out with him. Um, I came out the first time about three months ago and it was just me and him. Uh, he taught me how to sort of, you know, uh, use the equipment and everything and he felt that I'd benefit from it. Most of the people that I bring have usually had some experience of fishing in their, in their past. Some of them, like today, have been novices and wanted to give it a go. Um, but they've all usually reported the fact that it's given them a sense of something that they can enjoy independently on their own. Obviously through being in the club, they'll have access to other like-minded anglers, so there's a social side of it. Speaking for myself personally, it's been a really positive thing and uh, something that I definitely want to be part of. I think it's really, really good for people to increase their confidence. I'm well on my path of recovery now. I love it. It's just the best place out. That individual is part of us all. good for people to increase their confidence. See, it's been a life saver for me really, it's been fantastic.